Hello everybody, it is mid-November now, getting colder in Canada. This is only the second full winter that I've been back and it is terrible. I don't know why anyone lives here, but since my family lives here, I'm gonna stick around. Now, 2023 season wrapped up, we went at the Rogue Invitational and I've had a little bit of time to reflect on that now and reflect on the year as a whole. And I'm just so grateful for everything that's come from it. And having a couple of, uh, I've just had a couple of weeks of a bit of a staycation. And just thinking about what life has become is pretty special. And I haven't really had time to digest even Arnold's, never mind worlds and everything that's come after. So um, pretty cool and really, really thankful. So we're into off season now. I really have no program. But the funny thing about having no program is I think that's when you can tell who's gonna be really good and who's not. You tell them they're free to do whatever they'd like. And you see, is it time for them to relax? Um, yesterday, two days ago at the gym, I was doing a set of squats, building, 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 building. And I ended up overestimating what I was capable of, absolutely hammered myself. I was on all fours in the gym for like a good 10 minutes, just absolutely exhausted. And that's because I just love training. So I'm gonna be back on program next week into some bodybuilding stuff, working on some weaknesses. First of all, uh, deadlift is something that turns up in every comp, will continue to plug away. Stones turns up in virtually every comp, something that I know that I need to train regularly. I'm gonna work on my lockheads overhead, I'm sure those are gonna be a topic of conversation for refereeing. I don't think anything's gonna change, but if you can make yourself a better athlete, why wouldn't you do that? And that'll be a, about a six week off season until preparation for the Arnold starts. Uh, then we're gonna start our series, No Stone Unturned, just to get sort of cut out of the bag, status update, fight stuff. It's, I think it's happening, um, but nothing locked in. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Stay tuned on socials. If it happens, we'll talk more about it. But in the end, I am here as a strong man. If there's an exhibition in the meantime, it changes absolutely nothing for me. Uh, so no stone unturned next series. There's lots of stuff that I'm gonna be doing. Um, all stuff that I know will not do me harm. Uh, there's certain recovery modalities that I, I don't fully believe won't cause harm, uh, but say something like regular IVs, things like red light therapy, things like hot cold, things like massage, all of that is going to be very useful. Even things like regular mobility, I'd hesitate to say stretching, but regular mobility work to make sure you don't stiffen up over the course of your prep. It's gonna be really fun to see what I'm capable of and really, Eddie's the one who got this into my head and we were talking, he just goes like, clearly you're more genetically gifted than the vast majority of people who have even one world's strongest man. Imagine what it would be like if you really fully committed. And we both said, well, maybe it'll be better, maybe it won't, but life is just sort of about, for me, just try stuff, be as good as you can and don't have any regrets about it. So in 10, 15 years, if I never win anything again. I'd rather be able to look at myself and say that I tried everything that I knew worked and everything that might have worked or might not have worked. And I'm gonna to start to implement those things over the next six weeks in my off season just to see how they feel and get used to them. And then hopefully next year I could be unstoppable. Now, to be unstoppable, you gotta get through now Thor and Martins. Alexa will be back full form. Mateus is back in really good shape. Tom's gonna be there. The top in the world, I'd hesitate to say, has never been so stacked. And this year was me and Tom, but I would be very surprised if next year it's just the two of us, one, two, at all of the big shows again. Although I suppose it wasn't that way at the Arnold even. Mateusz was second at the Arnold's, um, but I don't think it's gonna be a two-man rivalry because I think there's so many guys who have really, really high quality. Um, so that's a little status update for right now. That's what we're up to. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on who do you think are gonna be the top contenders at the big shows next year? Who is your pick for the podium at the Arnold when everyone is gonna be there in good shape, in fighting shape, obviously event dependent, but Let's just throw some early, too early predictions out there. 
I'll throw mine. I think, I think we'll have a rain podium. I think we got me, Thor, and Martins. I think the, the Arnold just suits us better than, say, uh, Alexi at full form. Other than, like, Mateusz and Tom. Okay, I'll pick a top five. Me, Martins, Thor, Tom, and Mateusz. There you go. I could pick the top half of the field, maybe. But then fucking Thomas Evans will come along and smash it. So who knows? It will be fun, is all we know. And it gets like my competitive juice is flowing. There's no part of me that wants to avoid difficult shows. I want to go where everyone's going. I want everyone to be in shape. But tell me your podium. Like, who knows? Who knows? Just throw it out there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let's have me be kind. Wish me luck getting through this Canadian winter. And we'll chat to you soon.